In today's video, guys, we are going to change the O2 sensors on this car because they're really bad. So if you've been watching this, this mini series, um, the car has had a lot of parts replaced so that it could get to run to the point that it's actually running right now. And it's actually not running as, as good, but we have finally cleared a lot of the codes that were on the car. And so now we just need the O2 sensors replaced and that's what we will be doing. Shoot. So after a small little nap, we are going to go and put these, I mean, I'm going to go and see if they can lend me a tool to move the O2 sensors. It was a good little nap, but I mean, you know, I gotta finish this video. Okay, so we're here in O'Reilly's and check that out. That's a cool fox right there. I have to buy any tool today. Um, so what we did was just rent out the tool and uh, it's about 32 bucks but the thing is they do give you back your money oh, and then as long as you bring it back you should be good to go you get your money back uh, but it's it's a lot more convenient you know i don't have to buy anything right now so guys i know sorry excuse the mess my eyes are red because i was asleep earlier so no i don't smoke or anything like that so <laughs> and uh yeah i'm a mess man so forgive me guys but anyways we're going to take the O2 sensors off right now and that's what we're going to be doing. Alright guys, so I'm going to go under the car. I really don't like to go under cars though. Uh, I have my reasons, but we're definitely going to go under the car because we need to change this out. Uh, but just make sure when you do go under the car, use your ramps, that's one these these look rusted but they're actually pretty uh pretty good um and then also use jack stands just to be on the safe side you don't want to you know the car falling on you or whatever um you know that would suck so um and the thing is i'm not a skinny dude so if that if a car were to fall on me uh you know it would be it would be bad so the sensor downstream one this is the bottom of the car. This is the, I like to go by passenger side. This is the passenger side O2 sensor. Um, now, I, the way I got it was I used this uh, socket here. It's a 22 millimeter specific for uh, seven eighths for the O2 sensor removal. Uh, as you can see here, this is the way it would go. I use this big old ratchet here that you guys see here check it out let me just go ahead and show you guys this is a big this is a big mother man check it out that's about i want to say maybe 24 inch 26 inch long socket i use an extension from half to three eighths so that it could fit the o2 is out i'm taking it out right now uh but yeah um this is probably the easiest way to take one of these out and then check this out this is why the o2 <laughs> Oh, I need to lose some weight. Uh, this is why the O2 wasn't working, I'm assuming. This is pretty old looking here. Um, looks pretty beat up. You can see there. So we got the new one. And now, this is the way you're going to want to tell if, it's, if you're doing the correct one. This is the downstream, by the way, for an 06 Dodge Charger. Box it real quick. This is the part number if you do... Go ahead and buy it from O'Reilly's. These should come with some anti seas. So, here we go. Get it open. The new one. Now it comes nicely covered here because it has some anti seas lubricant. And here's the comparison of the new one to the old one. Now it looks short, but mind you, because it has this top so that the anti seas won't. Uh, won't smear everywhere but this is it guys this is the new one this is the old one let's go ahead and get some comparisons new one on the left old one on the right right one is pretty burned as you can see there really messed up and now another tip uh when you guys remove it is turn the car on so that it'll heat up the the uh the exhaust area and then it'll be a lot easier for you to to remove now excuse my ghetto uh setup here but you know don't have a lot of money I'm not a big youtuber so this is what we got to work with 
And now, after that, I just remove the clear top. And now, you can go ahead and put in your O2 sensor. Just like that. Just up, right up there. And now, you can go ahead and work it in there. Now, I do want you guys to remember one thing. We'll just go ahead and do this real quick. Now, once you guys get it in there, hand tight like this, you guys can go ahead and use a smaller ratchet and just, uh, you know, just, oh, let me just change the direction of it. And just tighten it. Now, don't over tighten it. Feel snug. Now, make sure that you have your cable and this cable is going to go right here guys so let's check this out make sure you have it the right way like this let's see if I can do this one handed okay make sure it snaps there you go you heard that click now my car came with this included so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and put this back how it was it was in here and then like so and it was tied like this I'm not sure if that was stock oem married up and the reason why you want to disconnect the battery so that it can reset the computer and the battery's back here so before starting the O2 sensor job, I, I did that, you know, just for safety, since I am dealing with wires. I'm gonna leave this open, uh, and I'm gonna give the car anywhere from 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes, uh, so that we can get that done. 